Greetings. My name is Pastor Deborah Lianga. I worship with the people of our Savior's Lutheran Church in Watana. Today, I would like to share a ministry story from my home country of Tanzania. For over 30 years, congregations throughout the southeastern Minnesota Synod have shared a deep relationship in Christ with the people of the Central Diocese of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Tanzania. Located in the north central region of Tanzania, the people of the Central Diocese primarily live as subsistence farmers in small villages scattered throughout hill brushland. The ministries of the Central Diocese include congregations, medical facilities, three secondary schools, a Bible Institute, and a variety of communities ministry, all aimed at increasing the quality of life for local communities. Similar to many regions across the globe, life throughout the Central Diocese region has been dramatically impacted by the COVID-19 global pandemic. The Hadzabi people are one of the last hunter-gatherer societies in Africa. Over the past several years, the region's resources have become greatly depleted, primarily due to the climate change and community development. As land, animals, and natural resources have steadily diminished, the Hadzabe's traditional way of life is severely threatened. As ministry partners, the people of the Central Diocese and the Southeastern Minnesota Synod are deeply committed to helping the Hadzabe sustain their traditional life and rituals. During the 2019 Imbasifa visit with our friends in the Central Diocese, Synod partners and lay people witnessed this ministry as we experienced a day in the life of the Hadzabi people. As our vehicles approached the remote village, we were escorted by throngs of people in traditional dress, welcoming us with song and dance. After sharing a meal, we worshiped together under a large shade tree. The worship was loud and joyous, full of song and dance, and over a dozen baptism. As one body in Christ, we shared our abundance with one another. Boxes of food and clothing were made available to the Azabi people. While our synod group each received a hand sewn shirt or dress along with a leather bracelet. We snagged on dried maize shucked and harvested by a young woman as she sat on a board, pounding the maize into flour. We toured their homes, some stone or brick, other constructed of leaves and branch, branches leaning against, against the base of a tree. As we returned to our shelter of a rutted road in the deep darkness of a Tanzanian night, we reflected upon the message we had at worship, a message of the love of God for the Azabi people, a message of the bond that we share with siblings throughout the world, a message of the one God who continues to work with us, the one God who alone is worth of our praise, the one God who has called people throughout the world to work together and care for each other as one body in Christ as we live out Jesus' ministry. The dollars given through the 40 Together initiative during this season of Lent will equip the Central Diocese to be able to continue the important work of supporting the Hadzabi people, as well as providing more livable pastoral salaries for their church leaders. Your generosity will ensure that the diocese's commitment to education, 
healthcare and congregation and community ministry is sustained throughout this season of COVID-19 and beyond. As we care for one another across the globe, we see Jesus in our midst. Thank you for your generosity and faithfulness in the gospel as we walk together in one spirit. <laughs>